In this video, I just want to give you guys some tips on how to photograph and find bald eagles and some really cool facts about them that you may not have known. So the first really cool fact about bald eagles is that they literally have better eyesight than us humans. As we age, we need nerd glasses just to be able to see this far distance or even close distance for that matter. But bald eagles, their vision is so good, they can see up to five times further than we humans can. They literally can see a rabbit that is three kilometers away from them. They can see fish that is in the water when they're way high up in their tree. They could spot you moving if you were 25, 30, 40 yards away in a ghillie suit or in any kind of camouflage and see you still moving even if you're going slow. They don't call it eagle eye for no reason. Next, they are really not bald. They're called a bald eagle, but they're really not bald. As you know, they have the white feathers on their heads. But actually, for the first five years of their lives, they have a brown underbelly and spots on their head and almost looks like a golden or brown eagle. About age four or age five, where they fully mature and they have that beautiful white uh, feathered head and that yellow beak that they're known for. Bald eagles can live up to 20 years out in the wild and even up to 30 years in captivity. And also around age five, when they leave the nest and they go looking for a mate, they mate for life. So the entire rest of their lives, they are with that one other bird. Good old Benjamin Franklin thought that the bald eagle, the symbol of the bald eagle was kind of, well, not a good representation of the United States. Simply put, his words were, it is a bird of immoral character, according to him. And next really cool fact about the bald eagle is in Hollywood movies, you hear that screech, that ever so epic screech that you hear the bald eagle. That noise you hear is actually the red-tailed hawk. So anytime you are watching Hollywood movies or TV shows or whatever, and you hear that epic bald eagle screech, that's the red-tailed hawk. Bald eagles, on the other hand, have a slow, high-pitched noise that sounds like a chirping noise. They are huge birds as up to three feet tall and eight pounds, and their wingspans are up to eight feet long. Bald eagles are fantastic hunters, and oftentimes they have sibling rivalry growing up, and they might kill each other for their food. They are scavengers, so they will eat dead carcasses, they will eat fish, they will eat other birds, they will eat mammals, raccoons, squirrels, beavers, ducks, you name it, they're gonna eat it. They were actually put on the endangered species list in 1963, where there were only 500 nests across the country. But thanks to the efforts of environmentalists and the general public, in 2007, they were removed from the endangered species list and now have over 15,000 so far nests in the United States. Their nest is the largest nest of any bird in the sky other than the condor. The bald eagle's nest can get nine feet in diameter, 20 feet deep, and get this, can weigh up to almost two tons. That's like throwing your car up in a tree. <laughs> bald eagles will dance with their mate. It's really cool to see if you ever get the chance to see this. Well, they'll go way high in the sky, they'll uh, cling their talons together and they'll just free fall from the sky and just plummet. And then right at the last minute, they will depart right before they hit the ground. The first tip that I want to give on finding and photographing bald eagles would be look and study your subject, their behaviors, um, what time of year they're out and uh, where their nests are the most. Uh, just their behavior and the types of food. Look for a food source because that is where they're gonna be at. So close to any kind of body of water, lake, pond, river, stream, those are the ideal places where you're going to find their nests. You want to be respectful. So keeping your distance, uh, wearing camouflage if you want to, move slow, don't make any fast movements, stay quiet if you can. You generally want to use a high shutter speed to capture and freeze that motion unless you're looking for that blurred effect for their wings, then you wanna have a slower shutter speed. But typically with birding, you wanna have a high enough shutter speed to be able to capture and freeze that moment in time with that bird. Learn to use manual focus. A lot of the times, um, the birds are really far away and we can't get close, so we have to use a telephoto lens. And generally speaking, if you have just the slightest thing in front of that bird, be it a twig, branches, whatever the case may be, that lens is going to, if it's on autofocus, is going to focus on the closest thing to your lens. So whatever that might be, any kind of distractions or uh, elements that are in the frame that you don't want to get and you want to, it's not on the subject, on that bird, it's gonna focus on anything else other than that bird. You want to use the long 
longest lens that you currently have. I would recommend nothing shorter than 300 millimeters. Uh, you can use a teleconverter as well, 1.4 times or a two times teleconverter to get that extra reach. Now, generally you will lose picture quality and you're gonna lose a little bit of light as well but it's gonna get you that distance that you need. You can also use in-body crop. A lot of the cameras have a 1.6, I believe, times crop in your camera. So you just go through your settings and find that as well. The female is actually larger than the male. Now, some people think that that's because of their, you know, have to protect uh, their young and their, their chicks and uh, they wanna be feel and, and look more dominant. Uh, that could potentially be the reason why. But the males are the ones who still gather the food and as a family unit, they make their nest. What a really cool experience it is just to be out around the bald eagle in their natural habitat and photograph these majestic birds. So if you enjoy wildlife and nature photography, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Uh, it does help out the channel. And like always guys, take care. And I'll see you guys outside. Peace.